just to give a little background, the, the regulatory review program uh, that we embarked on in March of 2015 was basically designed to kick the tires on about 1,700 regulations that exist in the Mass Code of Regulation. And one of the points was to take advantage of opportunities where you know, best practice has changed, the, there's new information, whatever it might be. And, uh, and out of those 1,700 regulations, um, we ended up rescinding about 275 of them. Uh, about 800 of them were amended, similar to the way this one was, based on new information. And about uh, 630 of them pretty much were, were left as, as is. So my point here is that you don't do regulatory review just to do regulatory review. You do it because you'll learn a whole bunch of things uh, that may translate into other opportunities along the way. And I think in this particular case, uh, that's exactly what happened. Between the cities and towns and the colleges and universities and uh, schools and nonprofits like the Animal Rescue League, that's where a tremendous amount of the energy and the activity uh, and the guidance that we got came from. Plenty of folks in the small business community, plenty of folks in the for-profit community that had thoughts and ideas about things we could do to clean up the code. Uh, but a lot of it came from organizations like this. In this particular case, um, there's a lot of the key elements to Reg Review that are tied up in this visit. It's a nonprofit organization. There's a national standard that's been changed. Um, and the, to continue with the old regulation would actually do positive harm to both the folks who are the caregivers and the animals that they're looking to take care of. I think the time obviously is overdue for this kind of uh, review. Uh, I do absolutely want to thank Rachel Madden. She's a rock star in uh, public service. She did an incredible job. Uh, when I asked her if it was truly 131 listening sessions, she said, oh, yes, it was. <laughs> and uh, this particular regulation was something near and dear to her heart. Uh, she said what motivated through her through this process was Pinto's picture, which became her screensaver uh, throughout the regulatory review. And uh, thank you so much for your leadership, Rachel, and for getting this right. She explained to us that the current regulation, regulations, plural, that we had in place um, for rabies vaccinations and quarantines were outdated. And the reason why I said plural is because there is now one regulation. We consolidated multiple regulations that existed under DPH and under the Department of Agricultural Resources into one regulation, which was really the intent of this process in order to make it easier for everyone that has to comply with these regulations, not to have to look throughout state government for the different um, areas that they need to comply. It's a one easy place to find.